Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. This is Jason. Today I have something of the latest from Ubiquiti for wireless access point. This is the U7 Pro. Okay, so beside me, I also have the U6 Pro and of course the very predecessor, the AC Pro. Um, this is on Wi Fi 5, this is Wi Fi 6, and this is the latest Wi Fi 7. Okay, let's unbox the Wi Fi 7, U7 Pro, and let's see the size and we can compare from there. All right, so let's open up the unit and see what's inside. Right, so for the U7, okay, uh, which we'll see here, okay. It's going to be much bigger and thicker than the U6 Pro, all right? But um, don't worry, we will still use back the same mounting plate, okay? That's the mount professional, which is the plate, all right? So this plate is still the same. The back metal plate is also the same, okay? As for the other accessories, they've actually split them up and made it into packets, all right? So you have individual packets of uh, screws for you, Okay, um, I'll explain about this AP later. So it's the AP itself, right? So um, you have the cover for the wire and then the L tool, all right? Allen key, the screws, all right? Your wall plugs, all right? And your holder for T-bar and additional screws, okay? So for the metal plate, okay? It's the same plate that you can use it for AC Pro, U6 Pro, U7 Pro. All right, so it's the same size, all right? So do not be mistaken, you can still use it back, all right? You can still use back the same metal plate that you have for your U6 Pro if you are upgrading from U6 Pro to U7 Pro, okay? Right, so there are a couple of questions being asked to me, right? So what are some of the major differences between the U7 Pro and the U6 Pro? Okay, let's look at the back. Okay, so let's take a look at the back, all right? So this time around is purely flat, all right? and uh, it has a very uh, much uh, metal feel and touch to it so there we can know that it's being used as a form of hip sync and on top of that um, there's actually a gap here all right if you can see okay we will close up and you can see it right so there are actually air vents all right to allow for additional ventilation for the ap so you know that actually this ap tends to get slightly hotter than usual and for the LAN port, okay, for the LAN port here, it has to be PoE plus, all right? So it's 802.023 AT, all right? So it's PoE plus 2.5 gigabit, all right? For the U6 Pro, it's one gigabit. For the AC Pro, it's one gigabit. For the U7 Pro, it's using 2.5 GB, all right? So that means if you are not only upgrading your AP, you have to also consider your infrastructure to make sure you have at least a enterprise 24 poe ready for you to do the upgrade from 1g to 2.5g all right and of course with the enterprise 24 you have your 10g uplink to your udm pro or udm se okay so this will be good for customers with um, 10 gig internet so that you can have also 10 gig uplink all right so remember 2.5 gig poe plus all right additional vents okay you can use back the mounts, all right? The AP is slightly faster, okay? Thicker than the U6 Pro, all right? Do keep a lookout for our short reels on YouTube and you can see a comparison between all the APs where we will do a very short reel for it, okay? Meanwhile, if you have any questions or remarks, please feel free to write in the comment section. We will try our best to answer them as soon as possible. If the video has been good, please remember to like and click subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.